Welcome to the indices and here we're looking at the S&P 500 on the daily chart and look the 2000 is the uh, finishing line so to speak um, however we've got to stay within our certain uh, counts to get there and currently we are looking at five waves in this larger third wave here of one two three four and five and the extension brings us in 162 brings us in at 19 sort of 80 here so uh, that's all in the group two area so we can expect resistance at uh, 1965 72 and the 80 um, but that's where we're sort of heading up through there um, but this is all just part of a larger count uh, as, as well so it's just really a matter of navigating uh, our way through so just looking at that sort of sharply on the intraday here is um, uh, yes first of all all of this down through here it does look a cor corrective in this in this CFD here but on the cash market it actually counts quite nicely as five waves so that's where that would be wave one wave two and wave three up to here with wave one in here somewhere wave two three wave four here and we'll look for wave five to go ahead further up now wave fours as you know can get a little bit sort of complicated so we may end up seeing another swing in here before um before seeing a move up but uh either way the market should be uh closing up uh higher anyway that's the main point here and uh yes the next resistance comes in at uh, 1965 1972 here <clears throat> and of course the 80 further up here but there's a whole lot of other levels in here that that's important within group two as well um they can be uh 68 70 73 75 and 78 so when you're working in group two here on on a sort of a micro level all these other levels will come up and this kind of what helps it make group two here the 65 72 and the 80 uh group two you don't notice it sort of on on daily charts but the more that you drill in the more that you'll you'll see it um so it's just a whole lot of uh sort of numbers there that that play out um anyway uh this market is positive it's above the halfway mark the 50 and it's being retested like i say it may have another retest down through to here but um, it's fine, this move down through here, this small move down through here actually counts as, a, um, as an ABC and this is it here on the five minute chart. So it's basically five waves down through to here. It's the A wave, the B wave and the C wave here. And it does appear to be impulsive up through here, um, but it's obviously not complete just yet. It can be corrective until it takes out that high here, but um, definitely the trend is up. And the same with the Dow Jones as well. We expect it to have uh, consolidations at 16,900. The Dow works to every 100 points, and that's a good way to trade it in most cases. Um, however, the fifth wave we're looking for is further up uh, here above this high here. So we're looking at 1,700 uh, here and uh, possibly uh, higher, but um, of 70,000, sorry. But um, yeah, that's the sort of uh, short-term finishing line for this market here the uh, 16.9 here um, having a correction across here this this is what I mean trading to every hundred points you trade to the you know to the hundred points you get out and you wait until you feel that um, you've got a, uh, a tested support on there or you've got something like this where you can buy a new high through here um, However, um, yeah, anyway, scaling in through group one is always good as well. But because this is just sort of moved up through here, you want to see a bit of consolidate. You want this little trend here. Um, uh, you know, if you pull this apart, there'll be five waves in it to, to here somewhere, and then you'll see a counter trend in here, and then you'll see another move up through here. So it's that retest that you're sort of looking for. The DAX, same sort of st story really you know the wave three the wave four we're looking for wave five to move up above this one here intraday now it's sort of climbed and sitting on the wall there at uh at 10, 000. you can see it here, sitting here nicely so just buy any of these new highs here and that will take you uh further up uh through there the daily indicators are also suggesting higher as well the FTSE is a little bit of a different picture, but um, anyway, we'll look at it in this light here in terms of, you know, we've had this move up through here that we've counted and we've just really been trying to work through this correction here, which has been a bit of a nightmare, really. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, look, the A wave, the B wave way over to yonder here, and then the C wave down through to here in five waves. This move up through here, um, it doesn't count that good as, a, um, as an impulse wave. It could be, but it also could be corrective as well. Um, if it is five waves, then, um, then it can pull back to the 61.8 retracement level, which is uh, 67.72 um, before it moves up. But we let's go in and have a little bit of a, a, a look at all this. I mean, technically, if this correction is right here, then we need to be, we'll be making new highs above these, these levels here. So we'll, it would end up, you know, we'd, we'd be looking at this 7,000 up here. That's where we're sort of looking here. And this is a nice big correction. And that's one of the things to remember too. You know, once you've, you know, been sort of, you know, being if you've been sort of hammered through a long sort of winding correction like this, you have to understand that this the bigger the correction, the better the next trend because it's a more of an you know it's a bigger accumulation process through here. So um, it, it is quite valuable having a big ugly correction. Um, we just need to find the right entries, and one of the entries would be um, uh, well finding the 6800 6, here as the support, which it's doing at the moment, it's testing it. So let's have a little bit of a look at that. Now, um, it couldn't find support on top of group one, 6830, number three. And if it had found support there, then you know that you would be going long from that point, but you basically trade to that point, wait for it to become support. And if it does, then you move back in. If it doesn't, then you know, you, 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 you're moving back down again. So this, if, I mean, this doesn't count very well as five waves to, to, to me. So, but if it is, then the 61.8 retracement level is down here. Um, so uh, this, this can also count as a corrective move up here. That's why we have to really be careful about where we go long here. Um, if we have a look at this little move down here, it does appear that it could be five waves down. I mean, that could be three waves up here. So, um, if that is three waves, then, and this is five waves here, well then, well, anyway, if this is five here, we're gonna get another five over here. So this is what, well, yeah, need to be a bit, bit careful. If it does drop below the 6,800 here, and then find support in any, not all coming back here, but just down here generally, and then find support on the 68, then you can go along from that point. But as it stands, this move down here will bounce somewhere off the 68 and bounce back up and retest the supply where it's starting at 68.20. So if you found support on 68.20, then you can buy here and add on top of 68.30, and then you'll be moving up in, in line with the trend and the other markets. Um, however, as it stands at the moment, it could come back to this point here in three waves, five, three, and five, and this is what we need to uh, be mindful of, um, because this move down through here, you know, it looks like one, two, three, cross for four, and down for five, doesn't it? So it could certainly bounce back in three waves here before seeing further downside here. So um, this could also be on, on more of a positive note. Um, uh, and if you see volume coming in and uh, in, you know, in the UK session, uh, well, even on the DAX really, which we know is gonna break higher. So this will initially follow. So we will see that rise there. So, you know, also buying down here and buying on top of 68.10 could get to, to get you off to a reasonable start. I mean, this, this could also be counted as corrective if you pull it apart as an A wave, a B wave here, and then wave one down to here, wave two to here, and this is wave three down here, right? And this is four here and five here. So basically we got one, two, three, four, and five to here. So that does count as five waves to here, and then this being the A and the B here. So it does add up to an A and a B and a C correction here, and we would expect it to move up from here. So you can take the chance on being long. I just I just spread the risk out in terms of, you know, getting position here on 10, and on 20 so you need to manage it you know prop properly so um yeah anyway that's all good the australian market um where's the i mean i've got this label up here as wave one and wave two down to here but um that doesn't have to be the case either this is just the daily chart here nice volume from yesterday always a something nice to look forward to um so you know, this 
what I've just said on the charts, this can be wave one up here and this can be wave two coming back through to here because it never took out this low here, which was what we were, we were sort of keeping an eye on, that, that 53.72 there. However, this move down through here is corrective. So it's more than likely that all of this here is an A and a B and a C wave to here, okay? And then we'll be seeing an impulse wave move up here and what we're doing at the moment is we're looking at this little move in here as being five waves in through here okay and currently we're sort of in the top of the third wave there so we're looking for fourth and a fifth and then a move back down so really the 5500 here is really um is is where we're going to be sort of looking for real resistance there will be a resistance uh coming into the um uh, into, into group two here. Let's just go and have a look at that here. So, um, yeah, our focus is this move up through here and it being in five waves getting to this 5,500 here or close to it, let's say. So essentially we're looking at um, one, two, three, four, and five like that. Then an A and a B and a C. And it, it you know, be something like that or this correction could happen across, you know, um, it might make a liar out of me and put me sort of higher up here, but it doesn't matter. What we're actually looking for is getting close to this target here and then witnessing some type of corrective pattern, yeah, that can pull back, you know, 60% of this, 50, 60% of this move here too. So we need to be mindful of that. Um, so, you know, get all your trend lines happening and, you know, zero in into this group two area here. Um, let's try trying to find Just bear with me so. okay this is the chart I was looking for so we can see that this correction here is, is really it's a really nice correction because it's a nice correction because it's um it's really lazy you know it's like there's no there's no one pushing it down so to speak so uh, nobody wants to sell and the this particular market works well to every 50 points and um, yeah and we can obviously see group two here uh, subgroup two, which would be the 65, 72, and the 80 here, all playing out as resistance here. So it'll chip away at that again. Um, so um, yeah, look, the other point too is if Friday is um, close as higher, then Monday is likely to follow through as well. And we can see the DJ and the S&P 500 moving up from where they are. So we should get that, um, should be a follow through. So we should see uh, Friday and Monday uh, in, in a bullish mode. So if you're thinking of holding over the weekend, um, this is the time to do it. Uh, if if we're if we're if, if we're wrong, then you'll need to go to the uh, to the U.S. markets and um, you know put put some shorts on there in 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 uh, in, in the in, in the weakest uh, market that you can find. Alrighty, uh, that's it. I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Cheers.